Today is Wednesday, December 21st, 2016, and today I bring you a story from the UK, more specifically Britain. This time we're talking about the arts, you know, a place where there should be no political motivation behind it. It should just be about producing the best thing. Now, before we even get into it, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. I'm an artist. I've been an artist my whole life. Right now, today, I'm a graphic designer. That's how I make my living. And I've been into art, painting, drawing, all of that since I've been a little boy. So my whole life, I'm 32 years old. I've been an artist my whole life. So I have an understanding of what art is all about. And I also understand the dark side when you come to talking about the professionalism with art and behind arts. Now, what we're talking about right now is BAFTA over in the UK. BAFTA is basically the equivalent to the Oscars over here. That is the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. They hand out awards for best film, best director, etc. So they have introduced affirmative action into their actual award consideration. You got to fulfill certain checkbox things on the list to encourage diversity in order to be eligible for a couple of the awards. I think the one award is best film and another award is best debut of a director. Now, to me, this is insane. You know, this is really insane because we're talking about art. Art is all about expression. Art is all about trying to be able to, you know, exude a certain emotion. It's about producing a quality thing, a beautiful thing, something that resonates with somebody in some kind of way. Art should never be about having to adhere to certain little uh, checkbox things on the list to comply with the SJW narrative. Really what it is, rather than being an award, it becomes a certificate of compliance. Congratulations that you have seniors in your film. You have people that are differently able in your film. You have people that are not white. You have people that are of different genders, different sexualities and stuff like that. That is what they want you to have in order to be eligible for an award. And it's really ridiculous, but you know what? This is kind of like coming off of the heels of the whole Oscar so white kerfuffle that happened over here in the U.S., And then the Academy over here came out and said, well, we're going to consider more diverse films for, you know, awards. But if I'm a black actor, if I'm somebody that's producing art in the form of television or film, why would I want an award that was given to me or that may be given to me because of my skin color or because of my my gender, sexual orientation or whatever it is? Yeah, I'm a straight black male, so I guess I would get uh, considered more than a straight white male for an award if my movie i don't know it's weird if my movie has a certain amount of straight white males or straight black males it's it's looked at differently what about the actual art of what's going on what about the beauty of the film what about if the film was good or not whatever happened to that and this kind of like turned me off of the whole art world like i said i've been an artist my whole life but it kind of turned me off when i would see stuff like this happen this ain't nothing new really the whole art the whole world of art is kind of pretentious And people like this are just caving to the people that are inside of the art world, really. It's not so much about the outside world as it is on the inside. People are like that, and they're they're weird. But what it does, it cheapens what art is all about. Because you get a lot of people in there that are not artists that care more about the outside perception rather than making good and quality material. I'm not really with it myself, personally. I think that the best thing to do would just be to judge everything based upon its merits. If you got a good film, just let it be a good film. If the film is bad, then let it be a bad film. Don't introduce affirmative action into the arts industry. It's ridiculous. I'm not really sure if you have affirmative action over there in UK as far as your society goes. Like, uh, you know, you're talking about jobs and actual real living life. But it's like that over here. If you are a a black woman, you are more likely to get a job over a, a straight white male because you get two marks on affirmative action list, black female, right? Because affirmative action is all about inclusion of different types of people to have more people that are not white males or straight white males. That's the whole point behind it. So they want more women. They want more blacks, Indians, Chinese, or whatever it is. That's what they want as far as affirmative action is concerned when it comes to the workplace. That's bad enough, but the dance are introducing into the arts and my humble opinion is just kind of ridiculous and it's just way over the top. I could almost understand it for the workplace because at one point that may have been needed for certain people that just had no other way to be able to make it. I don't think it's needed anymore. 
It definitely not needed right now in 2016. And the truth is, it wasn't really needed back when it was invented or when it was brought about in the 1960s, you know, because at a certain point in time in the black community, as I get off on a little tangent here in the black community, we had more businesses amongst ourselves than we have now. So affirmative action really just kind of made us be more, be more dependent upon people that are not ourselves rather than being self-sufficient. So in the eyes of some that were not able to make it as far as business is concerned or, or did not have jobs, being included into the greater white society via affirmative action was a good thing for them. But at the end of the day, it made all of us more dependent upon people that are not ourselves, therefore weakening the whole workforce in the black community. I think a similar thing could happen here when you have all these little check boxes you got to meet, affirmative action quotas, really. Some say it's not a quota, but that's just not true. Anytime there's a affirmative action thing, it has to be a quota because how else are you going to measure whether the affirmative action principles are being followed? Because you can say, okay, we have new guidelines for the awards. You need to have a certain amount of seniors. You need to have a certain amount of non-white, certain amount of people that are uh, disabled, people that are you know heterosexual, homosexual, whatever. That has to be included in your film in order for it to be considered now, if the films that keep winning do not have those things year after year, after you announce it, people are going to start to raise a red flag and say, what's going on? You said there was going to be more diversity and more inclusion. So in order for that to not happen, you have to have a quota. It is what it is. Maybe every uh, one film, every two to three years that has an extreme amount of diversity, even though it may not be the best film, the quotas have to be there in order to prevent from having social, uh, distrust from the public because at the end of the day people take the publication seriously they take it seriously and a lot of times it infects other parts of society and we see how the arts can impact society from the whole oscar so white situation i don't think it's really a big surprise that you had this whole thing going on over there in the uk with the whole affirmative action invading the film industry when you had the oscar so white kerfuffle going on over here in the states it impacted the European region, it definitely impacted Western Europe because we're Western countries. Realistically, United States is not that much different than UK or anything like that. It was started by individuals that came from the UK. So realistically, and its, and its structure is not that much different. But I digress. My whole point here is that this is not the right thing to do. If you want more diversity in film, have the filmmakers produce more diversity. I think Whoopi Goldberg says something great. And it's not every day that I agree with Whoopi Goldberg. But what she said here was just poignant. When the whole Oscar so white kerfuffle was going on, she was like, look, the problem is not the Academy giving out the awards. The problem is the filmmakers. Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, was talking about how Will Smith did not get uh, he got snubbed for an Oscar or whatever. But here's the thing about that. Will Smith has a publishing company called Overbrook, right? They produced Seven Pounds. They produced I Am Legend. They produced a lot of movies that he was in after Earth with his son. That's his production company. So rather than just keep putting Will Smith in the front of the actual movies, he can produce more movies that have other people in it. So then they will be able to be considered for an award and have our own award shows. I mean, I've seen people like really downplay the whole Soul Train Awards and BET Awards like they were nothing. This comes from people within the black community. But then they look at the Oscars as the end all be all. But what does it really mean? Realistically, the award only means as much as you give it, right? If you give an award a lot of credence, and that's what it's going to be. And unfortunately, people give the BAFTA awards and also the Oscar awards a lot of credence because of the branding, the history. I'm not really sure what, but unfortunately, that's where we are right now. And the whole affirmative action angle is misguided, in my humble opinion. So that's pretty much all I got to say about it. I say, you know, shout out to everybody that does not pay these award shows any mind. I stopped caring a long time ago about the bourgeoisie nature of high art and award shows and stuff like that because I know it's all phony. Anytime you have little uh, check mark, check box things that you got to have in a film that do not relate to the actual quality of the art, it's meaningless. At that point, it becomes a certificate of compliance, a participation trophy. And that is not what art should be all about. But what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea for them to come up with these standards of inclusion in film in order to be considered for an award? If so, what is the purpose of the actual award? What does it become at that point? Does it become a certificate of compliance? Congratulations. You have 
fit all these little bullet points that we require of your film that do not relate to the actual art and how good it is. Or are you on my side thinking that it's just ridiculous? It cheapens art. It does not represent what the award should be. The award should be for excellence in filmmaking or excellence in television rather than complying with what they say is the correct thing to do as far as the people that are in the actual cast of the production. Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. That's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.